Hey, my algebra friends, we're back here for another edition of our algebra journal. This time we're looking at section, no, that way. This time we're looking at section 8.4, so we're going to get going. We're looking at uh, equations of parabolas that are in what we call vertex form. So you know what a vertex is. So when I say vertex form, that means that this form better have something to do with the vertex so you're getting ripped off, right? Here it comes. Okay, here we go. Here's vertex form. F of x equals a h squared. Totally messed that up already. Uh, y equals a times the quantity x minus h plus k. Okay, so how can you describe this? First thing, uh, you're going to sketch out these graphs with a partner. That partner is going to be me today because f of x equals x squared, g of x equals quantity x minus 2 squared. So we're going to take a look at our Desmos screen. Here we go. I'm going to take this graph and I'm going to move it, pull it down so that you can see very um, more distinctly that that red curve, which is our parent function, y equals x squared, and the blue function look exactly the same, only the blue function has been shifted over uh, I don't even know if that's the correct direction. No, this direction. It's been shifted over two units. You can see that most especially at the vertex. Here the vertex is at zero. Here the vertex is at pot at two. Then you're going to look at the equations and you're going to say, hey, where did that two come from? And right there it is, minus two squared. So be careful, it didn't move over to minus 2, it actually moved over to positive 2. So this minus is actually telling you the opposite of where it should go. So it should go to not negative 2, but to positive 2. So let's write that in our journal now. Um, let's graph them really uh, quickly. Okay. Um, red curve is y equals x squared. I'm going to go ahead and put our three points, our two lattice points, and our vertex. I'm just going to draw a parabola. It's a pretty lazy looking parabola. It's not even symmetric the way it's supposed to be symmetric, but that's okay. That's not a lesson here. Uh, the next one is with the vertex moved over to, moved over to, which means that the two lattice points also move over two units, and I, I guess I can be a little bit more careful on this one. Um, I felt guilty about giving you that really bad graph just now. So here's our two graphs. Notice how it is what we would say in math land. It's been horizontally translated two units to the left. Right. Sorry, two units to the right. Letter B f of x equals 2x squared, g of x equals 2 times the quantity x minus 2. So you're going to take a look at that equation really carefully and see, um, well, the 2 is no longer the coefficient of x. The 2 is the coefficient of the parentheses. So the, that's a little different, right? Uh, visually, the 2 is not directly multiplying the x. So that's what I want to cue you in. So uh, how much is this going to move over to the left? How much is it going to move over to the right? I don't know. Let's hit our Desmos and find out. Okay, well, it still moved two units to the right, didn't it? Still two units, even if the 2 is no longer directly touching the x. So this says to me that the what's it's important that in order to find that horizontal translation, you're going to have to find, uh, you're going to factor this so that you get x minus a number. 
there's no coefficient of x anymore. That coefficient, that a, goes in front of the parentheses. Is this the front? Yeah. In front of the parentheses, not in front of the x. So the coefficient a is in front of the parentheses, not in front of the x. Back to our notes here. Uh, let's go ahead and draw these two. That's the least we should do. Um, the first one, let's draw that at our vertex was at zero, zero. This time our lattice points are at two. So maybe I should be a little nice about this one also. Um, yeah, I feel better about this one already. Okay, there we go. Here's our red parabola, our blue parabola. It's the uh, same thing, but it's moved over two units to the right. And even though our value of a is outside the parentheses as it should be, uh, it's still going to do its function and tell us that the lattice points are going to be two units above the vertex. So let's draw our parabola now. All right, ay, ay, ay. there we go. And yeah, that's good. It's like those art exercises we do in school, right? You just gotta carefully craft a line. Don't try to draw it all in one line. Then when you're done, you can erase all the stuff you don't want people to see. So here are our here are our two graphs. Let's do these ones now. Um, how does that value of h affect it? Um, well, we can do this one. y equals negative x squared. I'm going to do it sloppy because, you know, I don't want to, I don't want you guys to be watching this video for ages and ages. But here's our graph of y equals negative x squared. Okay. This time a is negative 1, but we're still moving it. Notice that that is plus 2. So we need to think about that as x minus negative 2 squared. So that our new vertex is going to be at negative 2. And it's going to have the same shape. It's going to be that downward opening parabola. There we go. There's our graph. Uh, let's do the next one, uh, negative 2x squared this time. So our first one, our parent function, negative 2x squared. Here we go. Um, notice how I'm being careful to make sure that I go over that lattice point at the very least. And this one over here, again, that's x minus negative 2 squared. So the vertex is at negative 2. Get that lattice point, and then everything else will fall into place. OK. Yeah, if I saw this on your work, I would be so happy. These look really good. Um, so how do we describe this? Uh, the graph of f of x equals a x minus h squared. Well, it's a parabola where the x-coordinate of the vertex is x equals h. So without graphing, describe each function. a equals 1, because, uh, you know, this is 1 times a parenthesis. h equals 3, so this is upward opening. <laughs> that looks horrible. Upward opening. Um, vertex is at 3 comma 0. This one is upward op upward opening as well because a equals 1. H this why, why did I draw B? Uh, H this time is negative 3. So this is also upward opening. The 
but this time the vertex is at negative 3, 0. This one, downward opening, vertex at positive 3. So in your own words, write the meaning of each vocabulary term. So even function, odd function. We're going to get to even and odd function a little bit later. The one I want us to look at is vertex form. So the form, the vertex form is the form of the function where the vertex is easily seen. In the case of a parabola, the vertex function is y equals ax minus h squared plus k. So if you want to talk about where the important stuff in this lesson is, this is the important stuff. y equals a x minus h plus k. Sorry, x minus h squared. Here's odd and even function for you. Um, even function if uh, the function is symmetric about the y-axis. So if you put a mirror on y equals, sorry, at x equals 0, the left and the right side look exactly the same. Now the odd function is a little bit different. So odd function if it's symmetric about the origin. And that just means that um, it's if you rotate it, the graph around, and you use the axis of rotate the zero zero as the axis of rotation. So if you spin it around, the function is going to look the same. So that's a little harder to see. Uh, definitely a, a higher math concept, and we're just introducing you to it now because it'll come up again later in subsequent math classes, but this is just an introduction. Here's what we were talking about, h, how it moves the graph left and right. I love this, this graph that they've given us here because it give, makes me dizzy when I look at it. I feel like I have tri double vision or triple vision, whatever it is. So uh, yeah, that's a lot of fun for me. Here is that same equation that I wrote for you earlier. This is vertex form. So when you see something that looks like this, you know that the vertex is at h comma k. No, that doesn't stand for Hong Kong or Hello Kitty. That stands for the vertex. I wish it was Hello Kitty or Hong Kong. That it's more exciting for me. Um, notice that in vertex form, that constant term is no longer going to be the same as the y-intercept. So be careful about that. But uh, a still tells us where the lattice points are. Let me write in that first point I made. So there you go. k is not the y-intercept. k is where the vertex is, the y-coordinate of the vertex. A still tells us about where the lattice points are. These ones over here, you can go ahead and graph them and tell me if they're odd, even, or neither. Actually, we should graph them and take a look at them. So let's graph them on Desmos, make our life a little bit easier. Looking at them on Desmos, this is what they look like. Here's our first one, y equals 5x. And if you spun this around, uh, you know, you put a pin there at zero, zero, and you spun it around 180 degrees, would it look exactly the same? And I think the answer is yes. Quadrant one and quadrant three look the same. Uh, so this, we would have to say this is an odd function. Okay. If you put a mirror here, does the left side and the right side look the same? No. They don't. Uh, if it did look the same, we would probably see a V. We'll get a better example of that when we look at number two. Here's number two. Uh, y equals negative 4x squared. Now, if I made this point, if I put a pin there and I spun it around 180 degrees, would it look exactly the same? I don't think it would. I mean, if you looked at this upside down, 
it doesn't look the same. Actually, maybe I should have said that. If you look at this upside down, does it look exactly the same? And it, and it wouldn't. It wouldn't look at the same. So this is not um, so an odd function. But if you look at the left side and the right side, do the left side and the right side look like mirror reflections? And yeah, they do. This part over here looks exactly like this part over here. So we're talking about an even function for number two. And I went ahead and I, I went to number four. If you take a look at number four, if you spun this around, would it look the same? No, it wouldn't. No. Um, if you put a mirror at the y-axis, would the left side and the right side look exactly the same? No, they wouldn't look exactly the same. So this is neither. Let's get back over to the uh, journal, and we can say that this one was odd, this one was even, this one was neither. I'm going to let you guys do number three on your own. All right, and this is the part that I was made for. How about the axis of symmetry and the graph of the function? So the axis of symmetry here is going to be the x-coordinate of the vertex. So the axis of symmetry is x equals 2. It's going to happen when x equals h. That's the axis of symmetry. Um, find the vertex. Okay, if I substituted a 2 into this function, what is f of 2? That's equal to 5 times 2 minus 2 quantity squared. That's equal to 0. So the vertex is 2 comma 0. How about here at number 4, at number, <laughs> number 6? Number 6, this is, if I think about that as x minus h, that would mean h equals negative 8. So the axis of symmetry is x equals negative 8. And if you substitute a negative 8 into this, you're going to see you get negative 4 times negative 8 plus 8 quantity squared. Negative 8 plus 8 is 0. So we have negative 4 times 0 times 0 again, and that is equal to 0, meaning our vertex is a vertex that's negative 8 and 0. Sweet. Let's, we can do these same ones. Let's go on to number 8. I'll let you do number 7 on your own. You got a, if we just put a x minus h squared plus k. Yeah, I did memorize it because it's super important. Uh, if we put those on top of each other, we can just read off what all the numbers are. Uh, they are in the same form, so a is equal to that negative sign, which would be negative 1 h would be equal to, well, that's a plus sign, that's a negative sign, so h is going to be negative 1. k is going to be, that's a negative sign, that's a plus sign, so k is going to be equal to negative 5. So what is my axis of symmetry? Axis of symmetry is x equals negative 1. And maybe we should have been doing this in the other, equate, no, not other ones, number 5. 5 and number 6, um, 5 and 6, but um, since I know the values of h and k, I know what the vertex is. The vertex is negative 1, negative 5. So um, vertex form, you can see the vertex coordinates really easily. So we'll do a similar thing over here. I'll write a x minus h squared plus k, and I'll note that a equals 3, h equals negative 2, k equals 0. Remember, there's a plus 0 right there. Let me move this over. How about here? Yeah, that's good. So, um, k is 0, so that's everything we need to graph this function. We know what the vertex is. It's 3, no, it's negative 2, 0, which is right here. We know what 
uh, the next lattice points are. They are three places up from the vertex. So if I go over one, and I'll have to go up three. And if I go over one, I'll have to go up three. Uh, maybe it's good for us to remember that the axis of symmetry is still right along the same line that contains the vertex. And we'll just draw our parabola now. Look at that. That was super easy. Wasn't that easy? The vertex form of a quadratic function was made for graphing. There's our, there's our uh, parabola. Taking a look at the next one. Oh my gosh, this one looks more crazy. Um, but a x minus h squared plus k. Let's see if we can figure out all those numbers. What do you think a is? Well, it's right over negative one fourth, so a is negative one fourth. How about h? Yep, six. How about k? Yeah, that's four. First thing we're going to graph is our vertex, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then down four, one, two, three, four. Actually, it should go up four. Oh. I'm going to have to move that uh, this line down a little bit, aren't I? Ooh. Can I move the whole thing down for you? Yeah. This will have to do. All right. Uh, six. Let's move this down. This doesn't want to move. All right. Uh, let's keep on going here. And then we're going to go up four, one, two, three, four. Uh, four is right there. That puts my vertex right about here. The next thing is to use our lattice points. So our lattice points are negative one fourth. So we're going to go over one and then down a quarter. So that's a very short distance. And then over again and then down a quarter estimated, of course, and then draw your parabola. Okay. All right, and maybe give us an axis of symmetry. Those are nice. There we go. So there's our two graphs. Isn't that lovely? Finally, we're supposed to graph G. So the first one I'm going to graph is F. Now this is strange. So let's put our F here. Uh, A, H, K. So I think my A equals 3. My H equals, careful, negative 1. And my k equals negative 1 as well. So we got our vertex at negative 1, negative 1. We also have our axis of symmetry, axis of symmetry at negative 1. Okay. And then our, our vertices are going to be up 3 from the vertex. So over, up, and 1, up, 3. Over, 1, and up, 3. And how do you do? Here's your parabola. All right. Okay, 
That's our parabola. Now the next one says f g is equal to f of pl x plus 2. So this is kind of like h and k. That means that we're going to take the parabola and we're going to move it to the, if it's plus 2, we're going to move it to the left two units. So everything we have here, move to the left two units. So we're going to take everything we got there and we're going to move it over to the left. So over two units to the left, okay. Take this point and go over two units to the left. Take this point and go over two units to the left. And of course the axis of symmetry is going to move. I was going to not draw it, but it's probably setting a bad example for y'all. Here's my axis of symmetry. And then now I'm just going to graph that. Now they, in my opinion, that was just kind of thrown at you how to do this. So that means to me that we're probably going to visit it, that again in the very near future. So here's our two graphs. Um, and I think they look great. So there it is, everyone. That's 26 minutes worth of algebra today. Um, go ahead and do your assignment, and hopefully this helped you out a lot. I hope so. These helped me out a lot, or they would have helped me out a lot if I was in algebra now. So I'll see you next time. Have a good day.